we're gonna do a breakfast scramble on the big green egg. This is super easy. Um, a while back, uh, you saw Kenny breaking out the walk. Uh, I'm gonna show you another variation to having some fun with that walk as well. Um, we've got some scrambled eggs. We have just a diced polis sausage. If you're into quantities and recipes, it's probably about three and a half, four ounces. I did four eggs, about four ounces of cheese, half of a chopped bell pepper, and about a quarter of a, an average sized onion. So we're gonna garnish it with some of our favorite yellow bird sauces. These are great, uh, various degrees of difficult, or excuse me, of heat um, from the habanero to the serrano, uh, jalapeno, I think there's a ghost pepper and a blue agave sriracha as well, so lots to choose from depending on how you like it. Let's take a look at how we were set up over here. Rolling about 350, 400. Uh, now this is a little bit different walk. The walk uh, Kenny used the other day sat right in. Um, I have that walk at home as well. Those were out before Big Green Egg had this awesome accessory available. I'm using the convector basket. Uh, everything's out. As you can see, the walk fits right in. I wanna make sure it's good and hot, so I'm just gonna drop a couple drops of water. You can see that it kind of beads and evaporates quickly. So I know my walk is good and hot. I'm gonna use, uh, you know, most of the time I'm using uh, olive oil, but today I'm gonna use vegetable oil, a couple of tablespoons, just because it has a little bit higher smoke point. Drop everything right in there, let it get a good sizzle. This isn't going to take long, that's another great thing about it. The big green egg wok comes with a wooden shovel. Uh, I left that inside, so I'm going to use Gonna use a little silicone spatula just to get things going. You can kind of already see how we're getting those nice little little bits of goodness going there. Spread that around. Let that sit for just a little while. You can cook with it open, you can cook with it closed. If you want to help regulate that temperature, you can go ahead and shut it down. I found my wooden spoon, by the way. I'm just gonna give that a stir. Now that pole of sausage is already cooked, so we're just heating it up, but I do want to let the onions cook down a little bit as well. Um, if I can do, you know, four eggs, six eggs at a time, you know, this would enable me, let's say I had a half a dozen eggs in here, it'd be pretty easy to feed three to six people depending on I mean, six might be a stretch, you know, because I'd say most of my family could easily put away a couple eggs a piece. But with the, with the sausage in here and the vegetables, mushrooms could go great. Again, you don't like any, any of these items, pick some ones you do. I can tell those onions and peppers are starting to soften up a little bit. So I might just give those a couple more minutes. Big truck there, sounds like the guy rolling through my neighborhood on morning times about 5.30, throwing those papers. Obviously that's not him, but. So now what I can do, if you like it all mixed in there, you can just pour your, uh, you can pour your eggs right on the top. Sometimes what I like to do is just push that off to the side. Maybe give it just another little half tablespoon or tablespoon of oil. I'm gonna let my eggs cook a little bit in that first before I stir everything in there. There's no wrong way to do it. I just kind of like the, the eggs and the vegetables and all that goodness semi-separated first. Look at that. You want to keep it moving a little bit because if not your bottom is going to burn before everything else gets cooked. But having that oil in there helps keep it from sticking to your wok. Just fold it over. Oh, whoopsie. Let's 
season that up a little bit. Now, depending on the meat you're putting in there, I'm not going to go too crazy because uh, the sodium content in that Polish sausage is going to flavor everything up as well. You know, if you're on a restricted kind of sodium diet, you could just use garlic powder, uh, some spices, some herbs. If you like it spicy, put some paprika in there, whatever your favorite spices are. I'll give that a whirl now. Let's start mixing everything in. These big egg mitts, big green egg mitts, are pretty handy if you like the fingers. Uh, if you're messy like me, I also have the silicone covered just mitts themselves a little bit easier for cleanup. So check that out. We're going to just set that. You could take this right in your house on the kitchen. Well, it's pretty hot, so be careful. Set on the counter in that wok ring if you desire. You could put it right on a plate. Shut this lid. Some toast, some pancakes, some banana bread, you name it. I mean, come on, what's better than that?